Hello leopards. Today's story is called Kipper's Toy Box. Kipper is a little dog. This book was written by Mick Inkpen. Let's have a read. Someone or something had been nibbling a hole in Kipper's toy box. Look, I hope my toys are safe, said Kipper. He emptied them out and counted them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's wrong, he said. There should only be six. So how many does he have too many? One. Kipper counted his toys again. This time he lined them up to make it easier. Big Owl, one. Hippopotamus, two. Sock Thing, three. Slipper, four. Rabbit, five. Mr. Snake, six. That's better, he said. Kipper put his toys back in the toy box. Then he counted them one more time just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight noses. That's two, too many noses, said Kipper. I wonder if you can see from there what is peeking out. There's a little mouse. And there's a little mouse. I wonder if Kipper can see the mice. Probably not. Kipper grabbed Big Owl and threw him out of the toy box. One, he said crossly. Out went Hippopotamus. Two, out went Rabbit. Three, out went Mr. Snake. Four, out went Slipper. Five, but where was six? Where was the sock thing? Who do you think is inside the sock thing? Yes, those little mice. Kipper was upset. Next to Rabbit, sock thing was his favourite. Now it was gone. I won't lose any more of you, said Kipper. He picked up the rest of his toys and put them in his basket. Then he climbed in and kept watch until bedtime. That night, Kipper was woken by a strange noise. It was coming from the corner of the room. What do you think the noise sounded like? Make the noise? Maybe squeak, squeak. Oh, look, it's coming closer. Maybe it's going... Scratchy, 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 scratchy. Kipper turned on the light. There, wriggling across the floor, was Sock Thing. It must have been Sock Thing who had been eating his toy box. Kipper was not sure what to do. None of his toys had ever come to life before. He jumped back in his basket and hid behind Owl. How do you think Kipper's feeling now? If he's hiding, it must mean he is scared. Sock Thing was wriggling slowly around in a circle and bumped into the basket. Then he began to wriggle back the way he had come. He did not seem to know where he was going. Kipper followed. Quickly, Kipper grabbed him by the nose. Sock thing squeaked and wriggled harder. Then a little tail appeared. <gasps> a little pink tail. And a little voice said, Don't hurt him! Oh, look. Who's behind Kipper? There's one mouse, so that must be the other mouse. I wonder if there's more than two mice. Let's see. 
So it was you! You have been making the hole in my toy box, said Kipper. It was true. The mice had been nibbling pieces of Kipper's toy box to make their nest. You must promise not to nibble it again, said Kipper. We promise, said the mice. In return, Kipper let the mice share his basket. It was much cosier than a nest made of cardboard, and the two little mice never nibbled Kipper's toy box again. But their babies did. They nibbled everything. Oh no! Let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen mice all together. Oh, there's one hiding. Fourteen mice all together. So they had twelve babies. Yay, I'm glad that's not me. Let's quickly see who remembers. What is the dog's name in the story? The main character in the story. Kipper, yes. Kipper. Kipper had a toy box. Can you remember how many toys did he have in that toy box? He made a line with them. Six. I think it was six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, six toys. And can you remember what six toys they were? Look. An owl. Hippo. Sock thing. A slipper. A bunny. And the snake. Yes. And what happened to Kipper's toy box? What was wrong with the toy box? Yes, there was a hole nibbled at the bottom. We know now who made that hole, right? How many mice worked together to make the little hole in the box? There's the hole. You can see it there. Two mice made the hole. Why did they make a hole in the box? What did they use the pieces for? To make a nest. Yes, that's right. There are the two mice now, cosy with Kip and his toys. And what happened at the end of the story? Did the mice become more or less? Mm, the family grew. How many mice babies were there? Twelve baby mice, yes. So there were 14 mice all together at the end. I like Kipper's stories. Thanks for listening to Kipper today. Bye-bye, leopards.